Only give me here. Welcome back to the library. We were in the last time we arrived at the library, and uh, yeah, we, we're basically now this. We entered the book of the bloodbath. So yeah, we kicked some ass, and now we're entering the book of bloodbath. I right, see one. General works. Joe's right. This place is bizarre. There are creepy, blood-soaking clots all over the place too. Click on the opposing character. Bloodbath. Uh, let's just, yeah, let's go. Click on the opposing character. Oh. Dim resistance, stagger resistance. Each character key page has different resistance to physical and stagger damage dealt by each type of attack. You can deal da extra damage by attacking with damage types the opponent's weak to, denoted by fatal and weak. On the contrary, attacking with damage types those are resistant was is set to endure and, or ineffective, which will cause less damage. Use resistance to your advantage. Alright, resistance. Okay, so. He is weak to blunt. Mine is blunt. Blunt stagger was just fatal. Weak, so slash he can adore. Pierce is normal, but stagger piercing is weak. And he's just straight up weak to blunt. Come on. Oh! Oh, quick mode's on, that's why. Ooh. That's piercing. That's light. That's. Focus. Let's go. Weak. Alright. Alright, so he, yeah, he's a broken dice. An eight. Well, might as well. Mod high rolls. Five. Five. Two. Four. Thrust. One to four, one four. One to eight. Inflict bleed for the next scene. Right, let's go. Come on. High roll. Ooh, yeah, let's go. Nine. That's nine damage. Four. Yes. Being high rolls off the gate. Let's go. Let's go high rolls. Let's keep this high roll streak going. Ooh, one more, one more for the final hit. Yeah. I guess I should be thinking about the monster was weaker than it used to be. That was close. Suppression of the bloodbath complete. Breaking the immersion. Floor of general works realization level two. This is one, one assistant librarian awoken. You can now access to the new anomaly limited pages. The emotional level threshold has increased to two. Well, Jenna works. Blood, single ally. Unbearable depression of well all those who take blood and bath in it. Scars, in your pale hands. Uh, many hands float in the bath. They are the hands of the people I once loved. When I saw the lectures of scars on her severed wrist, I was reminded of our wine cabinet. That day, I popped the cork off the last one. Victor. Victor. 30 health. 15 stagger resistance. Speed dice. Normal weak or fatal to blunt. Oh, we are too. Yeah, I'm hoping you have good cards. Look at that. Backstreet Dash. Bite off. You only need one. Grab the strike. Get 
make a view wallow. And yeah, give you put this. Two. Thin. An invitation. Finesse failed as failed as I expected. He wasn't gonna going to last too long anyways. He was just mediocre. Could have gotten a decent modification surgery or had enough talent to make up for his lack of experience. But he didn't have any of that. He was nothing more than an overconfident brat. Too bad, I kinda liked his affordable and cutesy attitude. I thought I agree. Though I agree, he was bound to die sooner or later. Congratulations, by the way. You have more options now that you're a grade 8 fixer. Yep. So you'd better be careful if you don't pay me well enough, I might move to another office. Heard you, you're barely covering your own taxes these days. Let alone the mother you ran for this office space, am I wrong? I believe the case. My Finn handle could make a breakthrough. You mean the library and the invitation you talked about earlier? But you said the invitation appears randomly, no? How are you gonna get another one? I wouldn't call you if I didn't, ha didn't have sunity. I recently received another one. Is that so? The existence of our office depends on this case. The library is sure to be profitable. I have a hunch. So we're giving it everything we got. Let us roll some in some dough. I bought this lovely thing here from a workshop, too. Is that chainsaw bat? These guests seem quite determined. We should prepare accordingly. The whole off is coming to us, hey? It may be small and insignificant one, but it could prove a little tough for the library right now. What if they make it all the way to your room? The guests cannot act outside of the space we prepared for them. That's how this place works. After all, this place is created with a limitless power. Yet somehow, you jumped into my room when you weren't even invited. Anyways, I'm capable of protecting myself, so there's nothing more or nothing less you should worry about. Greetings, dear guests. You must be owner of this library. She doesn't even look strong. Finn must have, must, Finn must have been here earlier. What happened to him? Uh, that one, he become a book. I see, so you turn to book if you die here. Hmm. That the all sentimental when you're the one who sent him here, knowing he'd fail. Shut up. We all can explain and abandon at some point in our lives. May you find your book in this place. Alright. We have two. It's 2v2 two two now, bitch. He's an office fixer. Alright. Some receptions are comprised of multiple acts. You can check the number of acts in the reception in the reception here. There's two acts. Up to three librarians can participate. Yeah, very much the exact same stuff. I mean, they both look the same. Let's go. Screenplay. Scene play. As the emotion levels of characters rise, the overall emotion level of the teams they belong to will heighten as well. When your team's emotion level goes up, you may choose the anomaly pays to use at the beginning of the next scene. Oh, is it, oh, it's talking about these. There are two types of anomaly pages, Awakening Blue and Breakdown Red. Awakening pages typically consist of purely beneficial effects for the user. Breakdown pages offer more powerful effects that comes with drawbacks. Each floor offers a different set of anomaly pages to choose from. The likelihood of each type of page being presented depends on the ratio of positive and negative effects and points that the team has built up. Let's bury, let's bury some time. I'm too scared to fight them head on. He said he'll come to come and aid us soon, so let's stay alive until then. Behold my ugly and flawless strategies. Well, things are surely looking smooth so far. Go! You are normal to okay. You're weak to blunt. Ooh, but slash is even more fatal. 
So, and I go for you, and you, you are fate of the blood, weak to pierce, but normal to snap. Let's wallop you. Come on, high roll. Three, fatal. High roll, five, staggered. Wallop. Six, staggered. Fatal. Three. I thought I couldn't make it this time. Ooh. Single ally. After three successful attacks, the same target deal. Second damage, as you said. First test attacks. Scars. Well, you're the only one to hurt. Come on, you wrist! You're so fragile! I can make it this time. The title well is this dub. I'm moving on to the next target immediately. Don't call these people foolish. You're the biggest coward. Dirty blow. Fast street stash. Go. You're finished. You got me up a slightly. Not the relative dub. I'm glad we might. How many muscles test? My shoulders are aching. Act one. Finished. I thought you kind of need you having two people. Oh, Yoon. 22 health, 10. Stagger. Fatal to slash, but, was, but normal resistance to everything else. Early. 22 health, 8. Stagger resistance. Weak to piercing, and fatal to blunt. But slash are normal. Let's do this. Let's go! Have the ones who came before us all died here? You see, if anyone anyone ever hits me, I hit them twice to even up the score. Beyond my utterly and completely flawed search, each of us has duties to fulfill on our own positions. Alright, so you are slash is fatal and piercing is fatal. What cards do I have? Since you are fatal slash, gut, har gut harvest will be your thing. And you... Piercing is the number one way to go for this chick. Go. High roll. Clash. Five. Fatal. Max damage. Shit. Damn it. Pale hands. At the three successful attacks on the same target. Do three ten bonus stagger damage. He says huh? the hands of those were perhaps yeah, perhaps we loved our resting inside. Is the music getting more intense? Best guide to survival. Let's go. Damn. Seven. Six. Even better. C three. Two, two, three, two. Go for you. Yeah, this is go for you. <sighs> Damn it. Defend. Four. Two. Okay, two of them. That's good enough. Two. Ooh, you got a five. These, these cars are not good. Maybe I should take light defense off. Go for you, and yeah, let's just go for you. Most of the cards are for her, anyways. Come on, high roll. Staggered. Did it blow. High roll, please. Four. Normal. Five. Staggered. Deflected. Everybody's on one health. They're both staggered. You go for her, him. 
I'll go for the last one. Should be the last hit anyways. Initiate. Five. Fatal. Three. Fatal. So I'm turning the book as well. This is what I expected. What a bunch of unhelpful idiots. So I'm turning well as this dub. Moving on to the next target immediately. Three. That guy almost turns the tide. Cut and call for the reception of Yoon's office. That was actually kind of tough. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It, it was a, a fabulous show, indeed. Cut his clothes. Excellent. This guest named it Yoon could make an especially valuable book for us. They're all like mods try, uh, diving into flames. Yeah, Yoon guys seemed like a clever sort. But even he ended up blindly jumping into the fire to get what he wanted. Once you have, you've had a taste of desire, comes in like an unstoppable wave. It's a quote I heard a long time ago. But that is that desire true to one's heart. Well, aren't you funny? You say you des despise roundabout speech, and you're being all poetic. Ten out of ten delivery. A couldn't a, a certain librarian. I know, would have taken an arm and a leg off if she heard that. Get back to sorting books. <laughs> it's just, as Angel said, we really got another floor to the library. Hey there, my name's Ron. Angela, I still can't forgive you. Angela, you... I thought we already... Done... I thought we were already done with that topic. You simply need to cooperate without complaint. Ugh. That was the deal, remember? And try to appreciate that fleshy body of yours you've finally earned back. Did you really think I couldn't? You could make me happy by just giving me a human body? Don't forget, I still don't agree with you. As you wish. Damn, that was intense. Hello there. I'm the patron librarian in charge of the floor of history. Makuth. You seem lively, at least. What's going on just now? I had an unfinished business with Angela. You probably heard bits of this, but... I'm the choice but to follow her orders, no matter how I feel. I'm in the same shoes as you. Though we seem to have ended up here for different reasons. So what can I do you for? Can you bring me books, Arnold? Since I'm in charge of the floor of history, I'm sorting, I'm sorting books you bring and collecting those that are about history. As librarians, we're... We the collected books gradually making our floors whole and completing the library itself as an extension. And we'll naturally get to unlock more floors and awaken their patron libraries in that process. So the other librarians are asleep? Yep, they are. I get the gist of it. You're surprisingly bright for someone who was upset a few moments ago, by the way. I was kind of worried that I might have to endure some more of that wrath. Or some of that wrath, specifically. I can't let my personal affairs get in the way of my work now. I still have my problems with Angelo, but it's not like getting mad will do anything good. I got my own reasons to be, to, to do my best with this work, too. Okay, then. Let's give it our best shot. Yeah. Well, it's history opened. Patron Library has awoken. Oh, so we play as a new character for Floors. This middle portion allows you to navigate the information. Floors. A new floor. More floors will be unlocked. If certain conditions are met. New librarians will be shown to floors. What's on this floor? Give you the information on the newly opened floor here. You can check the librarian's floor assignments and anomaly pages. Oh, so I can switch. Do I have all my... Okay, I still have my cards here. Fade of the Blunt, weak to piercing, normal to slash. So I have everyone's... Oh. Oh, this is how I, um... Oh, that's cool.
I like Pete's. Did the main character will get like a different um, style of clothing so I know who the owner of the floor is? So like Lenny would be on the back Alright, so. Yeah, so. Um. Just do you. Um. Uh, actually, first. Yeah, let's put some books. Uh, Great Night Fixer. One, two, three, four, five. Use office. Book of you. Run the books. Use page. Use hunch. Boost the max value of evade dies by 3 at 50% chance. Oh, come. Okay, feeling good. Alright. So, fragile next scene. Commandering. 48 blunt. 3 to 4 defense. 3 4 piercing. Time for a little test. You're too slow. Two dies for the next die. Let's see. In that case, uh. This page looks way better. Yes, yeah, it looks way better. All right, so how do I invitation book of Yoon's office? Send invitation. Ooh, I like these guys. Yo, you guys. Should regularly refill your head with the brain fluid. That's right, brain dulls your thoughts. I knew I'd be feeling hazy these days. Where are we going to out this time? I think we should go for a workshop. Workshops are rich and have useful components too. We're running the office. We should earn some infamy if we take down an office or two. I don't think we will get anything valuable from offices we can take on right now. Let's run that. I like those awesome stuff. Yeah, Mom, did you really forget it? Why we got our new bodies? Because we wanted to focus on earning money without being worried about food or sickness. That's so right, we're doing like crazy. These bodies just need brain fluid, fuel, and some repairs from time to time. We can make money without feeling hungry or thirsty. That's kind of lame. That's true. It cost me 40 guess there was whole buy replacements though. But it's still uncomfortable. I don't know how... I don't know how I don't have to eat anymore, but I keep thinking about all the tasty stuff I had before and it makes me want to taste them again. That's because we got cheap bodies from cheap workshops. We need to earn more than replace our bodies with better ones. So expensive ones can even adjust emotional and completely shut off desires. On top of good performances. But those are as expensive as our next household. We can worry about that later. Let's focus on money. Make it now. It's all about the money in the end. So don't bring up restaurants, you will make me want to eat stuff too. Well, there's a piece of paper stuck in your body. I like how this body doesn't have sensory systems, but it's annoying to be unable to feel things. So look at that piece of paper though, first. I don't think it was in your body. I don't think it was in your body until just now. Maybe we got too infamous and someone said a calling card or something? Is that a Persona 5 reference? You know, maybe a coupon for your mini food. Here. Now you're making me hungry. All the syndicates are composed of such half-witted individuals. We're expecting someone more refined. It all depends on the syndicate. The city is crowded with them. You even say there's one for every fixer out there. A number of thugs gather up and do things under a name. You got a syndicate. They're involved in all sorts of different businesses, so it's hard to give a general description beyond that. They seem sloppy. Are those machines? They're not machines or AI, despite their appearance. Pure machines carrying their own emotions and desires have long since disappeared from the city. These guys are just using whole body replacement and low quality ones from shooty workshops at that. I see. Alright, here we prepare for the reception. 
we're going to find valuable things here. Don't us. We just have to chop up some monsters and take some books. This body has strength in it, if nothing else. We came here for loot. What if the, what if that piece of paper loot was all a lie? Maybe we're all too naive. There's no need to worry, dear guests. In this place, we strictly play by the rules written on the invitation. Yikes! Welcome, dear guests. This is the library of Magella, the direction librarian of my soul, well, second name. In this library, you may obtain books listed on the invitation if you overcome the ordeal that is. Must be of those ploys by rich folks. It's all entertainment to themselves. They had to kidnap people from the back streets, trapped in the labyrinth. No one can escape. And make them wander in there, fighting for eternity, until they die and never to see light again. Come this far. We have to do this. Don't be so gloomy. You may find your book here in this place, then. One, two, three, four, four. Let's make a reception. Okay, so I can switch between. Oh, I didn't. I didn't fucking do fix your page. Let's go. This is a curious play, isn't quite big too. Money, money, money. It must be nice having lots of riches. Maybe I'd like a restaurant coupons more than books. Got my utterly and completely flawless strategy. It seems like I can easily dodge your attacks. Hmm. Threes across the board except for you you stagger uh, you, okay blunt damage for Arnold is weak you uh, so is yours you have piercing weakness that's most piercing what is the piercing you have wallop blunt okay so blunt piercing Wait, both piercing? Okay, piercing, piercing, blunt. Okay, so you go after Arnold. Piercing. Commander ring, unused. Give one protection to all allies. I've seen. I have piercing, so I'll go for you. Come on, high rolls! Two. I roll! Staggered. Fatal. High roll, please. Five. High roll. Three. Deflected. High roll. Three. Fatal. Four across the board. Oh, everything's weak. Yeah, that's right. Everything's weak to you. Let's focus strike this bitch. Commandering. Actually, yeah, I actually grabbed it already. High roll. Five, staggered. Come on, high roll. Three. Fuck a strike. Five, fatal. 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 It's so cold, this feeling. This is lonely. Guy almost turned the tide there. Bite off, make sure he's down for the count. You hit the piercing, so charging cover would be perfect. Hey, oh, yeah, it's just been more time during my life. I've been not getting patient and get things done for certain. I can't attack. Shit. Gut harvest. Spam gut harvest. High roll. Four. Staggered. Four. Four. Five. Shit. You know, a lot of stuff, I knew I was gonna die here. 
Call coaches for the Blood Brotherhood of Iron. Scene end. Book of the Brotherhood. Book of Mo. Book of Concessor. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. See? It's not a good idea to keep your brain inside of a hunk of scrap metal. And it's still better with a, than a frail human body, though. There are plenty of ways to enhance your body without replacing it with the, for another. Heck, there are too many options. Tattoos, plus take limbs, medication, drugs, you name it. It's all the possible. It's all possible as long as you have the cash. Replacing your body with the machine, on the other hand, is a one-way ticket. You're never gonna go back. Body bodies can never reassemble, resemble human bodies too closely, even if it's for someone swapping out their flesh. It all goes on, goes down the drain right, af right after. When does one put their brain in a machine then? One, when you urgently need a huge amount of money, you can sell off your old body and organs for a hunk of cash. Two, you, when you need to do a, repetitive work for a long time. I heard mechanical bodies aren't like that aren't bad for that kind of labor. Broken parts can be re quickly replaced, and designs can be kept under control, so it has the, its merits. Repetitive work for a long time. What? Interested in getting a new body? No, I was just reminded of my past for a moment. Okay. Will you enter the book of the Scorched Girl? Okay, damn. Oh! It's grasping... It's grasping on to that chart of mystic. It's like it's only hope. Oh. Wait. Oh, I didn't... I didn't choose an attack. I didn't deal with this chick's book. Blunt. Blunt. Seems like I can't do anything to you. Alright. I didn't edit this girl's um, thing on accident. Dude. Turn to ash in the end. Poor thing. Charging cover. Six. Oh, even better. Attack. Max. Fatal. Attack. Don't take don't take help away from me. I'll attack. Finished. To the Ash, poor thing. Victory. Suppression of the Scorched Girl complete. I didn't even f fix her. I didn't even do her deck. I completely forgot. So, have the books helped? Yep, I'm sorting them all somehow. It seems to be working, thankfully. It's good to hear. By the way, I think I remember just saying something along the lines of earning a fleshly body last time we met. Were you like not human before? It was like a replacement body, a change that couldn't ever be reverted. So you had a brain transplant surgery, but somehow managed to go back to your old human body? That's actually pretty impressive. Thanks to the library's powers, I guessing? I think so. You can't let yourself be held back by common sense in the library, huh? I think you don't really like having your body back. You didn't seem too happy about it back then. I actually do like it. Just, it isn't how I exactly wanted things to go down. What did you do in the past? I wonder. What was I in the past, really? You wouldn't believe it. 
But this is actually my third try at life. What the fuck? Did you just di Did you die like three times? How? This library and the librarians have a lot of history behind them. Third try? You can come back from the grave or something? It's the accumulated memories of my two previous bodies that will carry over to be precise. My past selves? I never really thought about it this way before. A diff difficult problem you're facing there. How about your present self? I'm an irresponsible person who let down everyone's efforts. I'm an idiot who tried to reach something for something out of my own means. And then ended up causing trouble, I suppose. Hold your horses. Let's not get too dark here. Just calm down for a moment. Take a deep breath. Let it out. In. Out. Relax now. You really help. Thanks, Ronald. I should know better than anyone that it's pointless to get upset over things I can't do anything about. I gotta start with the things I can take care of first. I'll try hard, it might work too. Let's take our time with the problem of our past selves. This the library assistant has woken up. How much dust hold leveled up to two again. Ashes. The false match light. Alyssa. Intimidation. I am back from being very dumb. Small stories. Seems like there's no other um, things I can do right now, so. Let's do invitation iron the, of the Iron Brotherhood and um, send. This will be the last one for this episode. Ooh, these guys look fancy. I'm liking these guys, how they look. But body sake from the last job. That's lasting longer than I thought. Still yesterday was wild, wasn't it? Yep. The new weapon you got from the workshop was a real killer, that's for sure. You don't always gotta say that uh, you get, got way too excited with it. If things spiral out of control, we gotta kill 20 more people than playing things to you. Since it was a mistake on our part, we didn't even get paid for the extra kills. Don't be a killjoy. You're the one who went on the big, biggest rampage at the end. Maka's muscles are all sore because he had to try to try to hard calm you down. He had to tr try hard to calm you down. Well, I said I'm sorry about it. No, I swear to you, you guys would feel things too. Hey, two minutes, but Tian has a point. We also try to cool down our temper a little. As long as we're working as fixers, it's not a good idea. A good idea to raise more trouble than necessary. For members of a killer syndicate, now register to an office and doing fixer work, life is really is full of surprises, isn't it? I need to make sure I know who's ha who's saying who. All right, just wanted to make sure I got the right person. This office is a weird one, too. Can't believe people like us are accepted. Remember what the boss said! There are, there are so many offices and fixes these days, so standing around from the others is the best way to survive in this industry. Our outfits are quite radical compared to the other offices. That's why it's filled with manics like us. All we got to do is kill targets in the most gruesome way possible and hang the bodies out in the open. No wonder everyone's excited to join. It's no different from what we've always been doing. At first, I thought it was crazy that an office would do this kind of work, but I guess threatening targets is saying the message and warning makes enough sense, and it seems to be working too. Though we've only been getting requests from no name syndicates and poor, poor folk. This office is a long way to go. It does feel more like a pack of rats than a proper office. Got a message from the boss says we should drop by and get new work. Even rascals like those can join the offices these days, huh? The whole market is a red ocean. Everyone wants to be a fixer. And that doesn't count as waking yourself over the coals because... Listen, I may not look like if I used to be hot stuff, you know. Then things happened, and I fell to rock bottom. So what did you do for a living? All kinds of stuff, really. Doing things within my ability. 
Is that so? That means you didn't get to do any proper work then? Wow. Wow, we really did teleport in the blink of an eye. Oh, wait, is that guy, like, looks like coming out of him? Or is that, was he, was that his weapons? I don't know. It's weird. Is this one of those singularities? A lot of surprises these days. Greetings, dear guests. Hi there. What the? She's pretty damn sturdy. How much did you spend on that bod? There's, need, there's no need to needlessly exhaust yourselves, dear guests. You'll need to rampage with. You'll need to rampage with all you have soon enough. I don't like your soft tone. You're not human, are you? Look at her face now. Guess she really isn't. It's another surprise. So great to meet a sapient being that isn't a human in the city. I know. We might get a ton of cash out of this. May you find your book in your in this place. Damn, she pissed. So she. Oh. Okay, no. I was in trouble with these people. Yeah, let's do these people. Floor of history. Give me a still. You're making. You aren't quaking in your bones, are you? I know how to smack this that guy. That's some um, new to pick, pick a fight with me. Luck will be on my side, I'm sure if I, I promise to succeed. You are weak to piercing and blunt. So are you. I got the right card for you. This is a god harvest. And low and what a two what the fuck four four scene two oh I only have two but you don't three selected Max damage. Fatal. But he was strong. I think you die one day. Ashes. One hit inflict one to three burn to the attacker. Match lie. So got lie. The first two combat pages the librarian uses after this anomaly page is selected to gain match light status. When the library uses the page with master, gain one ember. Pretty smooth. It's too soon to be rejoicing, though. Fuck a strike. Ooh. Bye, next scene. There won't be a next scene. Can't lose to a place like this. Curtains closed on Act 1. Alright, so we got Tien, Morgan, and Nyoki. Alright, let's equip our main setup, our main peeps. Get ready. I'm gonna win for sure. I could easily dodge all your attacks with my hands in my pocket. Careful! Careful there. This is gonna hurt bad if it hits you in the wrong spot. Behold my ugly and completely flawed strategy. Trouble in the internal pits of fear. Felt like throwing a cool. F felt like throwing a cool one liner. Alright. You are weak to blunt. You are also weak to blunt. But you are weak to piercing. Something tells me you're gonna like focus strike. As for you, you are gonna. Do a chop off. Only live once. This is blunt. It's not your game. High roll! Three. That's fatal. Alright, three blow. Oh, actually, no. You. Oh. I 
don't have enough stuff. Shit, we don't have enough light. Four. Max damage. for you. Not enough. Oh, okay, yeah. It was like the worst for her. Demanding. Five. Did my, did my movements. Come on, high roll four. Deflected. You didn't need it. Guard harvest. This dude. Yeah, I can't attack with her. Three. Three. Four. Focus strike. You don't like blunt. So I got the card for you. High roll! Five. Two. Stagger. Four. You got me. This can't be happening! You posted so much. Back to stash. Mandarin. Five. These fucks are strong. Damn it, I thought I could make do with this. Scene and cut the call for the reception of the Hook office. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. This was a fine show indeed. Let's see Hook. Five percent chance. I actually don't know how to equip those. Oh, battle symbols gain. Cut his clothes. Great work as always. I can learn more about the officers thanks to these guests. I uh, don't get too bothered by what they said about you, alright? Are you trying to console me? Maybe, maybe not. I don't really care if you're actually human or not, you see. That's refreshing to hear. It's been a while since I heard such comfort, wo comforting words even from one person, too. We're in the age of humanity, after all. Age of humanity? What does that mean exactly? Don't stare at me too hard now. I don't know all the details either. At some point, intelligence or sapient beings that weren't human were actively driven out of the city into the outskirts. I'm not too sure why it took place, but the artificial intelligence ethics amendment was introduced as part of that movement. And it was already possible to create machines capable of feeling emotions and desires. Actually, those are pretty much human in other words. I guess that was the problem. Thanks to AI ethics amendment, no machines could ever be made to resemble humans, including replacement bodies. Though, there seems to have been a few exceptions. As they say, said, I'm not human, I'm a machine and unofficial being. To be precise, I was designed using a human as a template only... A fraction of her brain was used in my creation. Wait, what? Not even a human brain resting in, in that in a robot body? Not at all. I'm purely ma a machine. Damn. So that's why they couldn't kill ya. What about the fraction of a human brain you mentioned? It was only an electronic copy of the map of her brain. My body is entirely comprised of mechanical components. I had a feeling. And it looks like you've been living under a rock your whole life, seeing how you're oblivious to the workings of the world. You gotta be extra careful then, especially if you're playing to leaves here someday. You're a sapient android with emotions and desires. Your existence is most likely a complete violation of the AI aesthetics amendment. The head head scarily good at spotting anomalies like you. Alright, in case you don't know, the head is basically a bunch of shitty creeps that rule over the entire city. 
Though, we probably won't ever get to face them. Anyways, this whole library is a huge risk in the first place. The librarians over here also seem like they're humans, but not really human at the exact same time. It's just as you say, I was assigned to feel emotions, and I spent what it felt like an eternity on stage repeating and performing a play that was never that never seemed to end. And when I thought it was finally over, it turns out it was really, it never really ended. I gotta say, whoever created you must have really been something else too. I don't know what motivated them, but breaking the rules of science by the head itself takes more than just guts. No one ever can escape the head's enforcement. And they eventually... They did all eventually die, but the library will be safe. It has to be safe. It's like a birdcage. No one is free to enter, no one is free to leave. Again, with that dreamy speech you despise so much. What do you even mean by that? I will leave this place one day and take revenge on all the things that made me into what I am and earn true freedom. I don't care too much either way. That's that, and this is this. Let's see, this guy. Yes, void for floor 2, patron library, technical science. Hey there, name's wrong, Angela Servant. He, I am yes, old. Patron Library of, of the Second Floor Technological Sciences. It's just me as a cold and piercing stare I'm sensing. Feels kind of different for Angela, as I gotta say. Oh, it's a boy. Good. Wait, is it a boy? What now? Don't tell me, are you one of those types that resort to violence when someone talks crap? Oh. Your necktie is loose. Oh. Things guess you're a nice fellow after all. Oh, it is a dude! Tell me, why do you comply with Angela's order so meekly? Well, mostly because I have no choice but to help her. Now, I think about it, Mount Kruth didn't seem to too fond of Angela either. Is it a trend of the psycho or something? It's obvious. It's obvious we couldn't approve of her. Angela, she utterly crushed our hopes at the very last moment. Sounds complicated. Why are you working for her as a librarian, then? As part of a deal. A deal? I guess that deals also why most of the floors of the library are locked off and the librarians there are asleep. Boy, I'm not a fan of convoluted stories, especially if it involves sentimental stuff. Anyway, both of you and I are obligated to help Angela now, aren't we? That is true. Let's give our best shot then! Put her there! What is the meaning of this? Uh, handshake? Duh, never tried it before? You know the I look forward to working with you kind of thing? Come on, I know. If we can't avoid it, we might as well enjoy it. I'm supposed to get you books like I do with Malkuth, right? Indeed, my role is to collect and sort books and the technological science of the city specifically. It's become clear that we both are well aware of our occupations. Kindly take your leave. Fine, fine. I was about to anyway. Now, Patron Library has awoken. Urban myth. Did not have time to think about the terror at the end of the song before the descending sun. Scene 2, Urban Myth. Okay. This is gonna be a long ass episode! Any more reports of the distortion in, in the Hannah Association of Zwee Section 12? None, sir. They're all observing the situation now! It did nominate a number of likely suspects, however. So far, we found two urban plagues, legendary The Laundry of Dreams, and Yesterday's Promise, and one urban legend, The Church of Gears. The, inve the investigation hasn't been going too well, is it? Oh, the library recently appointed a... Okay. Oh, the investigation's going too well, isn't it? Oh, the library has recently appointed urban myth. It's also on the possible... Sources. <laughs> so even the IO ups are clueless, are they? Seeing as they're throwing at random guesses now. I'm trying to get used to the Sony Books thing now. Tell me, why are you helping me so submissively? What, what? Remember what you said? You kill me if I don't cooperate? Because I sure do. And I can't leave by myself either. No, you don't appear to be motivated by fear. I've seen quite a lot of people crawl along the floor sickened with fear and terror, judging by 
judging from my past observations, I doubt you're helping me simply because you're afraid of dying. What the hell were you doing in the past? Okay, to be honest, I have a few things I want to know about this place too. Such as, you said you want to get the one perfect book you, as you gather books about the city, right? I figured I could run into fun experiences if I joined you on that journey. I don't have a whole lot of to do out there. Anyway, I go back to being a watchdog fixer scraping at the bottom of the barrel again. And there was one thing I've been meaning to figure out more than anything else. I'm hoping I could maybe find the answer here one day if I stick around and help you out. We have a coincidence in it of interest, I see. Sure. As much as I exploit you, you're free to make use of me. Try to be careful about it, though. A careless attempt could seriously get you killed. Sheesh. You're being way too vicious with words. Just what made you so sharp? You better not pry into my past any further. I already feel like slowly melting your limbs this time. Okay, fine, jeez. I have a question, ma'am. Do you take questions, ma'am? What is it now? Be sure it's the appropriate question. I did warn you already. What's up with the librarians here? They don't really feel like humans. But they don't feel like machines or seem like machines or artificial creatures either. The entities are... The entities called Anomalies and employers, both of which were thoroughly exploited by the facility that once stood upon where we are. They're just like me in this case. In this sense, specifically. Originated from humans, taken advantage of, and abandoned once grown out of use. I don't know what you're doing with them now, but it still looks like exploitation. They're, they were broken, they couldn't even sustain a stable form. And their existence was so fragile they could fade away at any moment. They were barely kept together as I bound them to a physical body in a book. All I could do for them is find the book that will free me and the librarians. You want to release the librarians? That's the only way for any of us to leave, you know. I use the same kind of power to reconstruct your body. Huh, just remember this. As we collect numerous books from our guests, we will eventually reach the one absolute book that contains everything. Alright, I'm going to actually end the episode here. This has gone on for way too long. General invitations. Cool. I'm going to see you guys next episode. Subscribe. Bye-bye.